welcome to the channel, I'm Volcano AC and today I will unbox and give you my first impressions of the Analog Chorus Pedal from MXR. This is not a sponsored video, I purchased this classic Chorus Pedal with my own money. I paid around $100 with tax and actually I got it on sale. Today, in 2023, it's going for about $130, so actually that was a really good deal and I am part of Amazon Prime, which is why I didn't pay for the shipping. It came within two or three days from my order and I'm excited to unbox this pedal. The reasons of why I wanted to buy this pedal are because it is all analog, it has the Bucket Brigade circuitry and because it produces liquid and large texture sounds. Now, let's unbox it. And we're gonna do it very, very quickly, just with my scissors over here. There's not a whole lot of box to unbox. So, in 2023, this is what you will get. All right, so let's see what's inside. And very straightforward. It is just the pedal. Okay, we got the pedal in a plastic bag. And we have serial number. And it says, thank you for buying this pedal with a serial number. And a quick user's guide. and a sticker and here it is the pedal nice thick plastic bag Ooh. nice and you can see right there we have on and off of the input the mono you want stereo over there depth control rate control over here the level and we have um, kind of like an EQ over there where we can cut or increase uh, depending on our needs. All right, now let's go and give it a try. All right, so for this video, I'm gonna be using my PRS SE custom electric guitar and I'll have it right with the switch at the center. And the guitar is gonna go straight to my boss loop station RC3 and from that it's gonna come to our analog chorus pedal from MXR I'll start with everything at noon and then I'll be switching around especially um, as soon as I am able to uh, record the loop and these are the settings for my angle fireball 25 um, I'll keep it in the clean channel because uh, I want to use the chorus pedal on the clean channel and the loop section of the amp will come to the JHS pedal attenuator and I will keep my Electro Harmonics Ocean's 11 pedal reverb engaged and these are the settings on this Ocean's 11 pedal and from the amp then it's going to go straight to my, to my 2x12 cabinet angle with vintage 30 speakers and one of the speakers will be mic with the legendary sure sm57 microphone and then straight to my studio one 24c audio interface and to studio one though all right let's get started <laughs>
right, let me know in the comments below what do you think about the MXR analog chorus pedal that it is a classic by now and yes there's a whole bunch of other brand new analog chorus pedals however for my taste I really wanted to recreate that sound from the 80s in which uh, it's analog signal in which there's nothing too extreme I just wanted to keep it uh, straight to the point and I have pedals to do some other crazy stuff so for me uh, this classic pedal really comes great to my pedal board and I know I'll be using it a lot and in the past I've used the chorus of my Fender Champion 40 digital one and also I have used the chorus plugin in Studio One Do. and in a future video I want to compare if uh, the digital chorus pedal or chorus plugin can really mimic what an analog chorus pedal is doing um, so I will tell you something I really love um, how this pedal responds and definitely it will stay in my guitar setup and arsenal all right if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button and for more videos like this don't forget to subscribe thank you for stopping by and i'll see you in the next one bye bye